Johnny Depp is in a fight with Amber mm-hmm. Heard, who is his ex, because they are going through this crazy divorce. And, and now, uh, well, they went through a crazy divorce, and now they're going through a lawsuit where he's suing her for over $100 million. Or is it $50 million? Oh, that's the Kardashians. People in Hollywood are, <laughs> are suing for some ridiculous numbers. Well, Johnny Depp now is saying that <laughs> in their bed, and he put, and then that he put a cigarette out on her. So this defamation trial with his ex-wife, Amber Heard, is underway, and several incidents in their toxic relationship are now coming to light. We've even seen videos and photos of a drunk Johnny Depp that were taken by his then-wife just all over Facebook. Well, let me just kind of bring you all up to speed in case you don't know what I'm talking about, which you should. 2012, Johnny and Amber were dating. They went all the way through to 2015 where they got married, and then just a year later, she filed for divorce saying that he was abusive towards her. Now, their abuse, their divorce was final in 2017, and in 2018, she published this piece in the Washington Post. Now, I read it, and I will tell you, there are a lot of women out there who are victims of domestic violence, and we are, we are people who support and want to lift you up. But then there's a lot of you women out there who gaslight the hell out of opportunities to attack a man that just don't want you no more. And in this case, <laughs> I have to tell you, there should be a Men Too movement because Johnny Depp, I think, was a victim of Me Too Gone Wrong. She wrote an op-ed in the Washington Post called, quote, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced faced the culture's wrath that has to change. And what she tried to do, Damage, if you read this op-ed, she was actually trying to gaslight real victims of domestic violence with historical context and, 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 and other things to make women stand behind these claims that appear to be baseless against an A-list actor who at the time was one of the biggest stars in the world. And so now Johnny... Uh, Depp decided to sue her because he said it was a smear campaign and he filed this $50 million lawsuit. She then filed a $100 million counter lawsuit. Uh, and now here they are um, acting out in court. What do you say? Is this privilege gone wrong or is this uh, a real thing that you know Johnny Depp has to worry about? Uh, it definitely sounds like privilege gone wrong. And another thing I like to see is when white people get ghetto. I like this because they, they ghetto is different. They putting cigarettes out on each other. They... They, they defecating in beds. It's stuff I've never seen before. So I don't want to hear none of this about how we carry on. Because when they start acting up, they act up so different. Jason, this is wow. Well, listen, I'm gay. So I definitely know defecating in the bed. I've not had that happen to me in a while. So, you know, whatever. It's just a situation all the way around. But what I will say, if you look at what's happening with Amber and Johnny, this is a relationship where at some point they enjoyed each other's company. And they, you know, figured out that this relationship that seemed to move fairly quickly was something that would last forever. Um, I personally think that Amber Heard, in my opinion, is a cloud chaser. And this cloud chase has gone wrong. Johnny Depp has been somebody that's been in our hearts since 21 Jump Street. He's been in the fabric of movies and film. And we have fallen in love with Johnny Depp, so we feel like we know him. We do not know her. And so now that her claims, after she made these claims of abuse and went through this whole divorce thing and settled she then later went back and wanted to win over public you know love by filing this op-ed against him and to keep her name relevant quite frankly i don't know an amber heard movie have you seen an amber heard movie i never heard of it no Mm -mm. we would never talk about her if she wasn't in this lawsuit i think this is clout gone wrong but i do agree with you it feels good to finally see white people just just run a trailer park tre- uh, presentation of of, of ghetto <laughs> all across the court TVs of the world because you know who would have ever thought the pirate of the Caribbean would be sitting here dealing with this parrot? Now I mean I ain't gonna lie Johnny Depp do look a little, a little crazy he look a little crazy look like when he off that sauce he might be doing something a little different I, is there a, a case where both things could be true that she's clout chasing but he also was a little strange with some of his activities maybe. At one point, she went along with it or something. Johnny Depp is a different guy. Like, the Pirate of the Caribbean, he looked like he's that person off camera. I'm not going to lie to you. I love Johnny Depp, but he's a strange acting fellow right there. Well, I'll tell you, um, I was watching his testimony. Johnny Depp is from the United States. I can't remember exactly where. I think he's from from Kentucky. He's from somewhere, like, in in a rural community. He speaks with a full-ass London, British... Australian <laughs> accent at this point. I think whenever he was in uh, a, a pirate of the Caribbean, that maybe that boat took a left turn somewhere, and he just <laughs> picked up uh, uh, um, this accent along the way. Because as he was speaking, he was like, 
I have to tell you, you know, I was thinking about, I'm like, if you don't hurry up and just get it out, what happened? He's so the pirate think, now. Yeah, I do think to certain degrees, I think this is becoming just way too much. And it's it's turning into a, a literal movie. Uh, you know, he also owns the Viper Room, or at least at one point owned the Viper Room here in L.A., which is where uh, one of those celebrities, I can't remember his name, uh, River Phoenix, died from a drug overdose. And there was longstanding history and rumors in Hollywood about Johnny Depp having drug abuse issues. And so when you see the videos, clearly he has a moments of blackout where he's drank too much. There's one video released where he tore up the house and was breaking uh, you know, glass and windows and stuff, which by the way, it's his, he could do what he want. And that kitchen looked really old and not, I mean, it didn't look modern at all. So I don't even know what type of house or castle he was living at the time, but there's something I will tell you, I feel really uncomfortable with. And that is the fact that Amber Heard was filming secretly recording her husband at the time who had dr drug reportedly drug and alcohol issues. And I just feel like, isn't that such an invasion of privacy when you film your loved one who's at their lowest moment or struggling with an addiction to only then use it later by putting it out on the internet for the world to judge? Yeah, um, if that's your intention is to like out them in a, some you know type of some type of crazy way, but it, it could be a case where she probably was trying to protect herself. I don't like I said, Johnny Depp is a strange dude. I think he's very talented. Um, I would hope that she is gaslighting because I do not want it to be the case that he did actually sexually abuse her. But if that is the truth, maybe that's why she recorded it. Maybe she needed to, you know, get some footage, some proof to protect herself because, you know, he is very rich. He's very powerful. Um, the public loves him and it's easy for people to take his side, which they did for a very long time. So maybe this was her way of protecting herself. I honestly don't know. But I will say this. Johnny Depp has definitely became that pirate of the Caribbean.